Yo guys, what's up? We're back at it again with another short Honkai Star Road Guide video. This time on the adventurous moles side quest, just in case anyone's having any trouble with the riddles. Without further ado, let's get into it. The only prerequisite requirement I know for this quest to appear on your game is to have beaten the main story for Bellabog. Because as soon as you beat the main story for Bellabog, you come back to Boulder Town and literally, boom, the quest is right above Julian here from the moles. You end up talking to Julian. I ain't gonna lie, you're probably gonna see on screen, I skipped all this crap, I, I don't care. <laughs> I didn't care, I ain't gonna lie. Um, it give you some riddles. The first part of the quest is straightforward, you go to the area in the Great Mine, you find the first part of the four riddles, and then what you're gonna do, uh, in case you can't be bothered to read, I'm not gonna show you the riddle because you're gonna read it yourself as you're going through the quest. But uh, you pick up this lantern, you take it over here and you put it in between the three lanterns and boom, there you go, there's the first one done. You then go back to Julian and he's going to tell you about the rest of the riddles again. And if you want to read them again, you just talk to him and he'll tell you all the riddles again. So for the first of the latter three riddles, you want to go to this area here. Pick up the clue uh, on this little bench here. And then it's very straightforward. You just go up to this chair right here. You grab it so it's not upside down anymore and you put it back to regular and boom, there's your first chest. For the second of the three latter riddles, you want to come to Rivet Town, into this cave here, and the clue is going to be right here in this little area. And once you grab the clue for this puzzle here, you've literally just got to have each shelf with the four boxes on it matching. So one of the shelves has four boxes, one of the shelves has two. So it's a case of you want three boxes on each shelf and you want the patterns matching. And you'll see on screen how I did that. And that'll be your second chest. For the third of the latter three riddles, you want to come to the Silver Main Guard Restricted Zone where Japard is always standing and the clue will be here on the wall. Once you pick up this clue, it's very straightforward. It's literally just telling you, hey, there only needs to be three guns on every rack. So just as with the other two riddles, you can interact with the guns at each of the four racks here in the barracks or trenches, whatever you want to call them. And you just want to interact and make sure that there's only three guns in each little set of gun shelf. Now, do know it doesn't matter if the guns are all right next to each other. As long as there's only three guns in the shelf, it'll compute or whatever you want to call it. And boom, there's your next chest. After that, you go back to Julian. He'll then send you to the next part of the quest with an objective marker this time. So no more riddles. You'll go and talk to someone on the surface, complete the quest, and then there you go. There's all your rewards, including your trailblaze experience if you're pushing to level 29 right now, like most of us. And yeah, that's all for that quest. Uh, thank you if you made it to this part of the video. Be sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe. I appreciate it. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.